Oliver Mtuku, the song number four. So we've already covered Chirinani, Todi, and Neria. Now we're going to one of my favorites. So it sounds like this. So the song's name is Hatidi Wondo, which means we don't like the war. So we'll start with the parent chords as usual. So you, uh, first of all, capo on fret number four. One, two, three, four. That's where you put the capo. And some people are saying capo makes it easier. I, I mean, like you don't, you're lazy to play bar chords, but that's not the case. A capo makes you be able to play m more things even. So it's not like it's for beginners. Anyway, back to the parent chords now. So you start from A minor. G, G, one, A minor, and then E minor, back to A minor, G, one, back to A minor, and then E, I'm sure you're seeing the pattern, and then F, and then C, G, and then A minor, back to F, back to C, G, G again, and then you go back to A minor. That's the whole cycle. So it's quite a huge cycle. Okay, so as usual, in Africa, we don't play chords like that. We break them down into arpeggios and make nice melodies out of it. So let's break it down, starting from the A minor. So he plays like this, A minor normal, and then st string numbers is like... Five, three, two, three, one, two, three, one. I want you to, to, to start noticing the patterns here, especially on the three, one, two, three, one. You'll see what happens there. And then for the G, it goes like this. It does a pull off. So I'm sure you can see he likes those pull offs. Sorry. And then it goes to. And then he puts the finger here. So with one finger here, the chord is called a G6. It's like four, three, one, two, three, one. And then back to A minor. And then to E minor. So E minor, you start from the sixth. Three, one, two, three, one. And then you go back to A minor. Pull off G6, back to A minor. And then E minor. So for E minor, again, you start with a two, six, three, one, two, three, one. Right? That's the whole cycle. I hope I'm not confusing you. Uh, but if you're getting confused, uh, you can put it down in the comments and I'll try to send you um, a specific step by step WhatsApp videos. Because I, I can't do everything on one video. So I'm trying to be quick. Anyway, the next thing now. We're going now to, to the second part of the thing. So, so it's like an F. So it's a normal F, but the way he holds the F is, is not a bar chord like this. It is almost like a normal F, but then you need the bass note there. So he frets it with the thumb. It's unconventional or it's like breaking a rule, but then it's more convenient. Six, three, one, two, three. And then, and then you release everything. You get it? Three, one, two, three, one. And then you go to a C. So it's a C, but with a, with a G bass. I think it's called a C over G or something like that. So, so the way you do that, you put first finger there, second string, first fret, and then the third finger on the third fret here. Oh, it's almost like a G6, but it's, it's a C right so and then it's 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 on there and then it's like baby's crying there bro so from the f it's like this six three one two three 
one, two, and then that's when that weird C comes, and it's like six, and then three, one, two, three, one, and then that G six, and then so you start with the two, four, three, one, two, three, one, two, four, three, one, two, three, one, and then you repeat again F. start again so if you don't have a guitar this must be very confusing to you but uh, no worries if you have a guitar if you buy a guitar uh, come to whatsapp uh, I will teach you but uh, I'm starting to get like too many students for me to handle right now so I will not be doing free anymore as of end of July so from August you will have to I own I could I can only take the paying ones so for now rush into the comments and um, I'll give you the free lessons until end of July